Hey boys and girls, we are going to an automotive swap meet today. That's right, the Hangar Rats are going to automotive swap meet. We're going to go check out airplane parts in an automotive swap meet. That could happen. So we're going to see what's going on. We're at the paid swap meet. This is in Fort Worth, Texas, out of Texas Motor Speedway. We're waiting on a traffic light right now. But um, we're going to see what kind of cool stuff we can find. Maybe there might even be some airplane parts or just old cool bent things. So hang on. This should be one episode you won't want to miss. Well, here we go. We're on the trek. We're uh, just got in, $5 parking, um, no admission. It's kind of cool that way. That way they, uh, you can load as many folks in the car as you can figure, but it's only $5, no admission. And uh, we'll see what kind of cool stuff we get today. This is uh, the Pate Swap Mead, Fort Worth, Texas, at Texas Motor Speedway. Um, it's a pretty day today. This is Saturday. Yesterday was rainy. It wasn't too bad, but they had some rain toward the end of the day. We were here earlier doing some filming Thursday, so you might see some snippets on that. So hang on, here we go. How's it going guys? We are here with Bobby, Tyler, uh, Randy. Okay, and we got a uh, we got an airplane out here. Okay, Bobby, tell me tell me a story on the airplane. It was from Six Flags. It was one of the original. Uh, as soon as you walked in the front gate, it was on the right hand side. And there were probably twelve of them, or fifteen. Oh, big carousel thing. Big carousel thing. Okay, so it's from the mid '60s. '60s. Okay. Yeah. And it's uh, when it first opened. And it's got like six seats. Six seats, yeah. Six seats, okay. Six screaming kids, and then I guess yeah. they, screaming see, they had a lot of seat belts. They must have seat belts. Yes, they did have seat belts, <laughs> yeah. And then the bars come back and lock down. Now, how'd you come across them? Well, about probably 20 years ago, I was getting rid of some scrap at a scrap yard, and uh, they had three of them there. Somebody brought them in to get rid of them. Oh, man. So I saved one of them. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Cool beans. Well, hey, thanks for been sitting. Thanks, thanks for the story. And now it's got a new owner, right? It's got a new owner. It's yes. a good day. Yes, it is. <laughs> and he's going to put it together. He's just right up here. So he's, oh, excellent. He's anxious to get it. Cool beans. Okay. Then there we go. Okay, guys. Basically, what we have is huh. um, is a APU motor. Yep. It's an auxiliary power unit from a V29 bomber. Uh, it's been relatively stripped down, yep. and uh, so it would have generated some sort of voltage, 24, 36. I'm not sure. It would have got the instrumentation going, and um, once the uh, fuel pressure and all the stuff comes up, the radials will kick, and the radials therefore will power everything and this would be turned off. Okay, so this kind of keeps, I'll, I'll zoom in here. So this kind of keeps the uh, batteries going while you're just basically on the ground getting ready to go fire. Yeah, it gets, yeah, it, gets yeah. it ready from a dry start. So right. where would, would this have been in the nose, tail? That would have been in the tail section the tail? of the B29. Correct. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, well, hey man, let's hear, hear it run if, if you don't mind. Typically full throttle. Okay. Not for long, it would be about in the 10 horsepower range. Oh, okay, wow, okay. So, Who right. made it? The manufacturer, I'm uncertain. Uh, it's got a tag on it. Okay, that's cool. Uh, there's a little bit of mix of everything for mm -hmm. it. Uh, so typically we got the choke, we got the throttle, and being the cowling's been off of it, yeah. we're going to pull rope for it. There we go. 
This is the on off switch, so. Okay. got an hour meter oh yeah okay it was um, last repaired rebuilt in 52 oh with 289 hours oh it's got 551 and the hours still accumulated and there's a generator there looks like maybe the magneto or oh it's a magneto okay that's gotcha. the mag running the plugs this okay. here is the oil fill dipstick. and the dipstick and then it would have the generator on here it would have had yeah. uh, some sort of voltage generator yeah. To uh, power instrumentation, so probably I would say maybe 50 amp, maybe a 50 based on the generators at the time, 28 volt. I have all the documentation yeah. that gives all the specifications, but cool. I didn't bring it with me. So. Excellent. Well, hey, thanks much. No problem. Thank uh, appreciate you. it. Okay. We got a couple trinkets on this trip. It was a pretty good time. We did see uh, some radial engines. We saw jet engines. We saw all sorts of stuff. The other day we found a couple other things. I guess that stuff sold. So that's it for this one. Just kind of a quick little deal. Go to the swap meet. Have fun. Get parts. Bye.